Hey everyone, and welcome back to Tech Talk Central. I'm Nathan. And I'm here with Sarah. Hi everyone. And uh, today we're gonna be diving into two new laptops that have really caught our eye. We're talking about the 2024 MacBook Pro and the Samsung Galaxy Book 5 Pro 360. Yeah, these are both really interesting machines. They're both clearly aimed at that kind of high-end user mm -hmm. who needs a laptop that can do, you know, more than just the basics. Right, not just checking email and browsing the web. So <laughs> let's jump right in, and we'll start by talking about the processors mm -hmm. because that's often kind of the heart and soul of, yeah. you know, what makes a laptop tick. So the MacBook Pro this year is running Apple's new M4 chip, which has a 10-core CPU. And a 10-core GPU. Yeah, I mean, the reviews are already coming out for these. And people are saying that it's incredibly fast, even when you're running really demanding applications, like yeah. video editing software or things like that. Yeah, it's really interesting to see how Apple is leaning into these custom chips that they're making. It seems like it's really paying off. Yeah. In terms of performance yeah. and battery life, yeah. which we'll get into a bit later. Yeah. I mean, they've really gone all in on their own silicon. And one of the things that's particularly noteworthy with the M4 is the inclusion of Apple Intelligence. Yep. It's their own built-in AI system that's designed to kind of help you with a lot of tasks. You know, things like writing or creative tasks, even task management, all while keeping your data private, which is a big concern for a lot of people these days. Absolutely. So that's the MacBook Pro. Now let's talk about the Galaxy Book 5 Pro 360 which is running the Intel Core Ultra 7 processor. Now, I know Ultra kind of sounds like one of those marketing buzzwords. Right. But it actually designates the top-tier chips in Intel's lineup. Yeah, they're not messing around with this one. Yeah, they're definitely trying to compete with Apple on performance here. Absolutely. I mean, it's a really interesting kind of battle that's going on in the laptop world right now. You've got Apple going all in on their own chips. And then companies like Samsung are relying on these super-powered offerings from Intel. Right. I'm really curious to see how this plays out over the next few years. Yeah, me too. It's going to be interesting to see who comes out on top. Oh, yeah. But let's move on to another crucial aspect of the laptop experience, and that's the display. Both of these laptops have absolutely stunning screens. Uh, starting with the MacBook Pro, it's got a 14.2-inch Liquid Retina XDR display. Oh, wow. Yeah, and the specs are pretty mind-blowing. 1,600 nits of peak brightness a million to one contrast ratio, and a oh. super wide color gamut. Basically, if you're a professional who works with visuals, like a photographer or a video editor, or even if you just want the best possible picture quality when you're streaming movies, this display is really going to blow you away. Yeah, I've seen these displays in person, and it's hard to overstate just how amazing they look. Right. It's really something else. Okay, so the Galaxy Book 5 Pro 360, it's actually got a slightly larger screen coming at 16 inches, and it's a 3K AMOLED touchscreen. Ooh, very nice. With 120 hertz refresh rate. So that's going to be incredibly smooth. Yeah. It's going to make everything from scrolling through websites to watching animations <laughs> feel incredibly responsive. And, you know, AMOLED technology is really known for those vibrant colors and this deep black. So that's going to look really stunning as well. Yeah. And the fact that it's a touch screen and it's a two in one so you can fold it over and use it like a tablet really adds to the versatility. Absolutely. And speaking of versatility, the Galaxy Book 5 Pro 360 also has some really cool AI features, like Microsoft Copilot AI, which mm. is basically like having a super smart research assistant built into your laptop. I was just reading about that. You can use it for writing, yeah. generating images, and it can even give you personalized answers to specific questions you have. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. It can even transcribe audio recordings into text notes. Yeah, I saw that. That's a game changer for students and anyone who takes a lot of notes. Absolutely. And, of course, the Galaxy Book 5 Pro 360 comes with the S Pen, so you can write or draw directly on the screen, which is great for note-taking, creative work, all sorts of things. Yeah, it seems like both manufacturers are really emphasizing AI as a key part of the user experience. It's interesting to see that trend developing. Yeah, it's definitely a big focus for both companies. And it's going to be really interesting to see how these AI features evolve in the future. So we've talked about the processors. We've talked about the displays. But what about the actual user experience? Mm -hmm. How do these laptops feel to use in the real world? Well, the MacBook Pro is already getting rave reviews for its battery life. Apple claims you can get up to 24 hours of video streaming on a single charge. That's incredible. I know. It's it, kind of hard to believe. If that's true, that's a game changer. Yeah, and people who are already using it are saying that the entire system just feels incredibly snappy and responsive. So it seems like Apple has really hit it out of the park with this one. That's great to hear. Now, the Galaxy Book 5 Pro 360 is so new that there aren't a ton of user reviews out there yet, but Samsung is advertising 
all-day battery life. Okay. Which sounds promising. And they're also really highlighting this feature called Phone Link. I was reading about that. Which basically lets you seamlessly integrate your Samsung phone with the laptop. So you can get your notifications and everything on your laptop. Exactly. You can get notifications. You can make calls, send texts. You can even access your phone's apps right on the laptop screen. Wow. That's really cool, especially if you're someone who's constantly switching back and forth between devices. Yeah, for sure. So now that we've kind of laid the groundwork and talked about the key features of each of these laptops, let's get into the nitty gritty and compare them head to head. Sounds good. To help you decide which one might be right for you. All right, let's do it. All right, so let's start with the MacBook Pro. If you're someone who really needs top of the line performance, this is the laptop for you. That M4 chip is incredibly fast and efficient which means you can grease through demanding tasks like video editing or graphic design without any lag or slowdown. And the battery life is insane. I know. Up to oh. 24 hours of video streaming on a single charge? That's unheard of for a laptop. Yeah, it really is. You could basically go a whole day without having to plug it in. And that Liquid Retina XDR display. Oh, yeah. It's just beautiful. The colors are so vibrant. And the level of detail is incredible. If you're a photographer. Or yeah. a video editor. You're going to love this display. For sure. All right. So let's move on to the Galaxy Book 5 Pro 360. Now, this laptop is all about versatility. That two-in-one design means you can use it as a traditional laptop or fold it over and use it as a tablet. Yeah, that's really handy for note-taking or presentations or just watching movies in bed. Exactly. And that AMOLED touchscreen is gorgeous. Oh, yeah. The colors really pop on those AMOLED screens. Yeah, and the 120 hertz refresh rate <laughs> makes everything feel so smooth and responsive. And you get the S Pen with this one as well, so you can write or draw directly on the screen. It's a really nice touch. Yeah, I think for people who are really into note taking or mm -hmm. creative work, that S Pen is a big selling point. Absolutely. So both these laptops have some really impressive AI features. Apple Intelligence on the MacBook Pro and Microsoft Copilot on the Galaxy Book 5 Pro 360. It's interesting to see how AI is becoming such a core part of the laptop experience. Yeah, it's not just a gimmick anymore. It's really starting to make a difference in how we use our laptops. Right. I mean, imagine being able to just ask your laptop a question yeah. and get a personalized answer right away. Or having your laptop automatically transcribe your notes for you. Exactly. The possibilities are pretty exciting. Yeah, it really makes you wonder what laptops are going to be capable of in the next few years. It's definitely an exciting time to be following technology. All right, so we've talked about the pros and cons of each of these laptops, but ultimately, the best choice for you is going to depend on your individual needs and priorities. Exactly. Your must-have features, what kind of work do you do on your laptop, and what ecosystem are you already using. These are all important factors to consider. Right. Yeah, it really is a lot to think about. It is. So to wrap things up, we've taken a deep dive into two incredible laptops, the 2024 MacBook Pro and the Samsung Galaxy Book 5 Pro 360. Both of these machines are packed with cutting edge technology and they really represent the future of what laptops can be. We've talked about the pros and cons of each model, but ultimately the best choice for you comes down to your individual needs and preferences. Right. Do you need the raw power of the MacBook Pro or the versatility of the Galaxy Book 5 Pro 360? What kind of work do you do? What's your budget? How important is portability to you? These are all important questions to ask yourself before making a decision. Absolutely. And remember to check the links in the description below. For the latest prices and deals, we'll be sure to keep you updated on any major news or updates about these laptops. So make sure you subscribe to Tech Talk Central for all the latest tech deep dives. Thanks for joining us today. And until next time, keep exploring the world of tech.